Hello, Namaste, Sashrikal, welcome to all the beautiful people out there. Today, as the thumbnail suggests, we are going to talk about the Firefly 8SC, which is my first action camera. And one more thing, guys, this is my first video on YouTube, so I would like to apologize if I make or commit some mistakes. But let's jump right in. The Firefly 8SE boasts an Amarela A1275 processor and a Sony IMX117 CMOS image sensor, which allows it to shoot 4K videos and slow motion videos at 1080p at 120 frames per second. It also provides it with great electronic image stabilization, which in turn results in steady photos and videos. It also has a 2 inch IPS LCD touchscreen whose resolution is 320 by 240. And finally, it also has a 1200 mAh battery which results in great battery life. First things first, let us talk about the price of the camera. I bought this camera from banggood.com for somewhere around 10,500 rupees. But in Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals, it was available for somewhere around 8,500 which is a steel deal according to me. Before we talk about the processor, this camera can shoot at real 4K. This got the native 4K on it. So you can shoot at real 4K on this particular ca action camera, not interpolated. And I must say that I'm pretty impressed by the quality of the video, photo and audio on this particular camera. Now, uh, coming to the resolutions of the camera, as I have mentioned, it can shoot at 4K, which means it can shoot at 4K, 2.5K, 1080 and 720p respectively um, there are various other features that uh, that you know this camera provides it can shoot 1080 at 120 frames per second which means you can shoot slow motion videos uh, on this particular action camera now these there are two major reasons why i bought this camera one is that it shoots at 1080 at 120 frames per second and the second is that you can shoot or you can take photos in 16 is to 9 mode or 16 is to 9 aspect ratio which a lot less cameras provide i mean there are not many cameras uh, or there are not many action cameras on which you can shoot at 16 is to 9 aspect ratio so these are these are the two major reasons that why I bought this particular camera. This is how the camera looks like. Okay, so this is how the camera looks like. This is the lens of the camera. This is the selfie mirror. This is the recording indicator. This is the power button. At the top is the shutter button where you will start and stop your video videos from. Um, on the right hand side of the camera there is a wi-fi on and off switch a button a wi-fi on and off button with the help of the second button you can navigate through the menu on the left hand side of the camera if you see it has got the hdmi port and the usb port where with which you will be charging your camera or charging the battery from the camera uh, at the back it has got the ips lcd touchscreen let me show it to you Yes, so this is the IPS LCD touchscreen uh, at the back of the camera, which is pretty responsive. Uh, here is the memory card slot and here is where you can view your photos from uh, the photos that you you have taken previously. Uh, so these are about the external features of the camera. One more thing that I would like to talk about is that Hawkeye has provided an anti slip grip on all the four sides of the camera which is which is pretty good i must say it comes with a lens hood which is another plus point you know so that your lens does not get damaged that's about the external features of the camera before i bought this camera there were three other cameras that i had uh, had as an option one was the xiaomi 4k the other was the thai i t5e and uh, the third one was the acaso uh, v50 pro or v50 elite so these were three other cameras that I was looking at before purchasing this particular camera. But I went ahead with this camera because at this price, like I said, at this price, this is the best camera. And uh, also uh, when you compare photos and videos from the other three cameras that I've mentioned, this one, this one comes at the top, right at the top. So that's the reason why I bought this particular camera. Um, now. Let us talk about the image stabilization 
on this camera. The image stabilization on this camera is pretty awesome, I must say. Uh, I will post a few sample photos and videos which, uh, which will illustrate or show how the image stabilization exactly works. And there is one more thing that I would like to share is that this camera comes with an external lavalier mic. That's right. Which, uh, you know, which is a plus point. You do not need to buy an, another external mic. If I mean, if you buy this particular camera. Now, um, it comes with a waterproof case. Yes, that's right. It comes with a waterproof case, case and it, it is waterproof till 20 meters underwater. So let me show you the uh, waterproof case. This is how the waterproof case looks like. Uh, just like any other action camera. The only complaint that I had with Hawkeye was that they did not provide me with a with an appropriate chin mount. The chin mount that they provided me was a little too big for my, my helmet. I, I believe if it's big for my helmet, then it's big for every other helmet. So, um, Yes, if Hawkeye takes a note and you know provides a little smaller chin mount, it would be better. That's it about the uh, about the waterproof case. So I did not get a chance to test the waterproof case as um, as it's winter season, um, and you all know the the water is pretty cold and the swimming pools are closed. Now there were a few issues that I faced with the camera, uh, which were solved by the U103 firmware update from Hawkeye, which is pretty good. But apart from that, there are a few other issues. One was one issue was the uh, chin mount that they, it, I mean, it could have been smaller. There are a lot of attachments that they have provided, or there are a lot of uh, mounts they have provided. But uh, I mean, the smaller mount which goes on the chin of the helmet, they should have provided that. I would have been happier. Now talking about the backup, I get somewhere around 50 uh, minutes of recording time on 4k at 30 frames per second and somewhere around one hour and 10 minutes at 1080p 60 or 30 frames per second the camera does not feel premium it has a rubberish plastic feel to it but uh, it is pretty good for for the price i must say now talking about the memory card support it supports 128 gig of memory that's right 128 GB of uh, memory card support on this particular camera we have already talked about the uh, screen of the camera Another thing guys, uh, this, this particular camera comes with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. That is right. The Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity which is uh, one of the most important features of this camera. You can connect your phone directly to, to the camera. Yes. Uh, with the help of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Yes. Uh, Bluetooth is another thing that I would like to talk about. You cannot, uh, I'm sorry to say this guys, but you cannot connect any Bluetooth to this particular uh, this particular camera for example i have a selfie stick and uh, a separate bluetooth with a selfie stick but that bluetooth does not work with this particular camera you have to buy this this is the uh, bluetooth provided by hawkeye which specifically is made for this particular camera those are about the features of the camera guys um, i will post the sample videos and photos with and without the external mic at different uh, resolutions 4k and 1080p please do let me know as to how you feel about the camera so if you're planning to buy this cam camera guys i would i would suggest you to please go ahead with it with your decision because there uh, nothing comes closer to you know uh, to the uh, type of quality uh, that this camera provides for your camera buck i must say that's it guys ciao This is how it sounds like with an external mic, 4K at 30 frames per second. Thank you guys. If you like the video, please hit the like button and comment down below if you have any suggestions for me. Looking forward for your feedback. Thank you so much and ciao.